What is going on guys? Jake does hurt us back at it again with another Pokemon Go PvP video. And in today's video, I'm going to be breaking into the Ultra League for my first time this season. And guys, I think this team is very fun. It's got a lot of play at the lower MMR ranks for sure. Um, I'm playing at about 2100 MMR or ELO uh, in these battles, as you can see on the screen here coming up. So we're going to get into the battles straight up here, guys. Um, let me do There's the music. Okay. So, battle number one at 2111 MMR or yellow. We've got Avalog with standard moveset. We've got the Giratina altered with Shadow Claw, Shadow Sneak, and Dragon Claw, and the Surfetch with Counter, Leaf Blade, and Night Slash. So, I played this matchup and this lead about a thousand times last night. And I got used to it. What I like to do is crunch. Um, no shield the first one because they could probably bait. Usually, at least, or sometimes I will shield. It really depends on how much I count up to. Usually they go up to 9 uh, and get the Earthquake in. And then I throw my Crunch here. So Crunch has the chance of dropping the opponent's defense. I rarely got this, but you know, sometimes, every now and again, I will get a defense drop. In this video, apparently I do, which is great. I played about six sets on stream last night, guys. If you haven't followed the stream, Hurdles TTV. Best way to find out when I'm going live, what I'm doing in PvP. Go there, go to my Twitter, and see what's going on. So now, after we throw the crunch, we're going to throw a body slam. And we're going to be just chipping away at this wall rain. No matter what, we don't really need switch advantage here. Because we can farm this thing the entire way down. So we're not going to shield this. Um, we know the Earthquake is going to almost KO here. Um, and put us at about 1 HP. And they do. So they get one Ice Shard. Not a problem here. We come in with our Surf Fetched. And we are going to go to town and start farming this thing. So two, three... Uh, third one goes through, would not have KO'd anyway, they throw an Ice School Spear, perfectly fine, Surf Edge is a little glassy, they're going to take this to the chin, uh, and we're going to be good to go, we get a farm down, and there's only a couple things that could come in and scare us, and, um, Cresselli is one of them, so, we say, if we get the boost, we stay in, if not, we go into Giratina, uh, because Giratina can handle virtually anything in the back that's not a Charmer, or, um, Registeel, so no boost, so I go out, into the... Giratina, and I'm just going to start farming. There's no reason to do anything but farm here. I'm going to shield, save your two shields for Giratina. You're going to have a happy, happy day. All right, Giratina is very bulky, but a double shielded Giratina against Cresselia in the back is very, very nice to have. So now we're in a very good situation. And as you guys can see, I'm learning how to play these dragon Pokemon. Um, I'm not the best with typings. That's why we're all on YouTube. We are here to get better as a community. And I am getting better, so obviously we know the Dragon Claw is the better move here. Um, more energy efficient, doing super effective damage. We don't have to shield this here. Um, and we are going to be throwing straight Dragon Claws after we get up to a little bit more energy here. Trying to CMP tie on that next one because I know that my Giratina is awful IVs because I have not re-rolled it. This is a raid Giratina. So we know that we're going to win CMP in this situation, which is great. Um... We get our Dragon Claw off first, which is awesome. That's going to do enough damage to put them down into a very bad, bad range here. Um, and so, we decide to not shield this. Um, it's We're kind of in a tough spot, because that Cresselia has got a ton of energy in the back. It hasn't thrown any charge moves yet, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to try to farm this thing down. Which obviously is not going to happen. Um, so I'm like, okay, I got a shield here. Um... But I wanted to farm as much energy as I could so I can maybe double Night Slash this uh, Cresselia in the back and get a CMP tie. But uh, I'm going to throw one here. This thing is not even close to being KO range. Uh, this is going to put it at about 20% health at most. Um, but they shield. And then we are going to be fighting to get to the next move. I get to my Night Slash. But they are loaded with energy, guys. They might be at two Grass Knots right now. Loaded energy. Um, so... We're going to Night Slash. If I was boosted, maybe I have a chance. Uh, I am not. Um, and they're going to throw um, their charge move here, which I'm assuming is going to be Grass Knot. They don't need a Moon Blast. But Grass Knot will KO. They throw Grass Knot. Um, and then we're going to bring in our Giratina. And we're like, okay, maybe we can get something done here. I would need to have something loaded in the back for the Giratina. I'm like, never mind. I'm, I'm in shambles. GG's in game number one with this Avalug, uh, Giratina, and Surfetched line. Getting into game number two, we got Hot Dog Bun Face. Pretty sick name. Uh, we got Avaluk lead into Nido Queen. This is great for us, doing super effective damage with these Ice Fangs. We're going to eat this thing up. Um, they're going to go straight into Umbreon, so I decide to go into Surfetched here. So, 
Uh, in this situation, I am going to basically just farm a ton of energy here. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to try to uh, take switch advantage uh, and basically have a ton of energy for the Nido Queen that comes back in uh, to face us. Um, so we're going to be a little low because Umbreon is so bulky, it's so tanky, it's really good at Ultra League. We all know that, everyone knows. Um, so my goal here is to once again farm now. I'm probably going to have to commit one shield, a sneak a counter in, that's really helpful for me. Not a problem shielding here because Umbreon is just once again so bulky. Um, it's going to take a lot to take it down. And I don't have any moves that deal super effective damage uh, in terms of charge moves. So we kind of have to rely on those Leaf Blades. So now we are going to fish for boosts. Because if I can get boosted against a Needle Queen with no energy, I could possibly run through their entire team with one shield. So we're just going to fish for boosts here, guys. I got boosted a couple times last night. Um, one crucial situation, I got a double boost. It might just be in this video. Um, we'll see later, guys. I don't remember, to be honest, but... We're going to try to fish for a boost here and then try to CMP tie on that third one uh, to see if I can get this thing into at least farm down range for my Avaluk. Night Slashes are going through. I'm like, what is in the back? What could I possibly have to deal with uh, in the back that I don't want to see with one shield? So we're going to throw these Night Slashes, guys. Uh, once again, no shields have come up yet. So I'm like, okay, they're farming me down. I'm not too mad about that i know ava looks pretty bulky so i can come in here and they bring in scrafty so i'm like oh snap this is bad this is so bad and i'm like okay i don't need to shield this my goal is to spam this thing as much as possible and then get it so avalu can take down the scrafty because it's full health so our goal is to spam this is where you'd like that dragon breath uh, Giratina, but I prefer the Shadow Claw variant because it farms so much energy so quickly. Um, and we're going to be doing pretty neutral damage here with this Dragon Claws here. Don't let them sneak any counters in, which is nice. And we're going to be pounding away at these Dragon Claws. It's the only thing that we can do in Ultra League. All these Pokemon are so bulky. But I just need to get this thing into farm down range so they make a boo-boo. So I think now they're going to start shielding. They're going to start shielding these because they know they're getting pretty low. I don't know why they didn't start earlier, but they're doing it now. Um, foul play is not going to KO. I'm going to be able to get to a, another Dragon Claw, which is huge. So once I throw this Dragon Claw, I'm thinking, I got to go straight into Avaluk. I can't let them farm me down. That would be very bad. Even though the counters are resisted, they're still going to farm me down. And I just want to go start ripping away at these Ice Fangs. So I get to a move. We see MP tie on this one. And I'm thinking, there's no way I'm shielding. They need a Power Punch to kill me. They need a Power Punch. And I need to save the shield for the back because I know they have Earth Power. So Power Punch comes out. They're just going to start countering. I throw the Body Slam. Will this KO, folks? In Ultra League. Against Scrafty. Will it KO? Shield goes up. Here we go. Can we farm this thing down before they get to another charge move? What's going to happen here, guys? We farm it down. No power punch comes through. Needle Queen is so low. Out comes one Poison Fang. And I'm like, okay. I got a shield, I think, right? I mean, I'm so low. I have to shield. And I sneak the Ice Fang through. Oh, my gosh. Holy. I tied on the, on the Body Slam. The Ice Fang goes through. I'm at 1 HP. Defense drops. No poison jabs come through. And we get the body slam off here, guys, to get the KO and the GG. Who would have thought that Ultra League can be so fun even without XL Pokemon? GG's. Hot dog bun face. Getting into battle number three of the set. We're 1-1 one one so far. It's 21-11 MMR here. Trying to climb a little bit in Ultra League. We've got Avalug into Melmetal. Not my favorite lead. Not enjoyable at all, to be honest. So, we are going to go right into our Giratina. That's our safe swap on this team. Um, we can farm a little bit here. Ideally, we just want to draw something out um, that is going to beat our Avalug as well. A uh, secondary counter, one might say. So, we're not getting the switch. Uh, we're just going to keep farming here because we know we don't shield a single thing here. And ideally, we get a farm down with our Surfetched. Um, and we can be in good shape for the back line. So, we're about to reach max energy here. Uh, and one more Shadow Claw. Maybe two, I think. Uh, and we're going to start flinging out these sh uh, Shadow Sneaks here. Obviously, because the Dragon Claws are going to be resisted. Um, so, we're going to be throwing the Shadow Sneak number two here. 
and hopefully get this thing down into that red to low yellow range so we can get a couple counters in before they throw a charge move. Um, so they go into their own Giratina. I'm like, wow, this is amazing because they just switch lock themselves. And that is awesome because they're giving up switch advantage, which shifts to my favor because I have something that beats that Melmud on the back. So I need to get out and go into Abaluk as soon as possible so that I don't get KO'd by that Dragon Claw. And my goal here is going to be to farm this thing the entire way down. The entire way down. We're going to see how much these Shadow Sneaks are doing. They're not doing very much. I'm going to try to farm this thing the entire way down. Once you guys commit to a farm down, you commit to the farm down. So we're going to farm them down. All right. No shielding everything here. Uh, this isn't the Giratina that's got Shadow Ball, so we are not afraid of any of these charge moves. Shadow Sneak is going to be tickling me. I am going to be farming them the entire way down. And I'm hoping that Mill Metal comes back out because I've got a crunch locked and loaded ready to go we still have shield advantage we still have switch advantage uh we have the hard counter in the back i'm feeling pretty good about how this match is going to go guys and mel metal is going to come back out unless they're foolish which i don't think they are um and we're going to throw a crunch right away take a long time to wait out the switch clock here and s cavalier comes out so another steel type that was the secondary counter i was trying to bring out um by bringing giratina out um but we did not get it so we've got s cavalier um, and I'm just gonna go up to the body slam here and let this thing, um, let this thing, uh, go and we're gonna go into our Giratina, which is our secondary, uh, you know, counter against the Steel types. Um, so we are going to just enjoy our two shield advantage with Surfetch in the back. We are just going to be spamming these Shadow Sneaks. We know that one drill run probably won't KO because Giratina is a thick ass boy. So we're going to go for Shadow Sneak. Uh, it's a preferred move, and I get KO'd. I was about probably 1 HP. It looked like I lagged a little bit there. So our goal here is going to be to fish for boost, see if I can get boosted before I go into Mel Metal, and then just farm that thing down. Um, it's a win-win scenario because I take this thing out, and I'll have to shield a drill run, and I can possibly get a boost, but they shield, so it makes it even easier for me. Then I can just farm this thing down. I have to shield this because um, Megahorn could hit pretty big. Acid Spray is annoying. Arrow Ace would be super effective, um, and obviously the drill run is going to be pretty solid neutral damage but i didn't realize this mill metal is so low so i'm like okay i can form this thing down and then throw a night slash and they're gonna quit so it's gonna be a gg game number three of the set moving to two and one in ultra league moving into battle number four i'm going up against rad it's good thing i'm a big goku guy so we should be chilling here unfortunately in this lead we are quite literally chilling and they are going to burn us to death so we need to switch into our giratina which is our safe swap here we're counting two three here comes the Brave Bird. They switch out. They have a Brave Bird locked and loaded. Out comes Registeel. Not my favorite. Um, this is kind of a bad situation, but we can get out of this. We've gotten out of worse before, so we're just going to be flicking these Shadow Sneaks because, once again, Dragon Claws are going to be resisted by the best buddy, Hundo Registeel here. Shadow Sneak is the move. If this thing had stronger charge moves, we'd be in the worst possible shape known to man because this thing would be so strong. Um... So we're going to be shadow sneaking once again here, guys. This this mirror, uh, I believe that it was easily done 27. My coach, uh, my teammate, um, and very dear friend commented um, that he wishes he could fast forward this matchup. This matchup is awful. It is so long and it stinks. So we're just gonna sit here and fling these, uh, hoping to maybe just save our Giratina or just let it fade on into oblivion um, because this match has been going on for a solid one minute um, and nothing has happened. We are getting this thing low and there's no real win condition because we've been debuffed um, two times, now three times. Um, so ideally we're going to farm um, with Shadow Claw uh, and decide to go straight into Surfetch tier so I can just start flinging moves. I know that they're not going to Brave Bird me right away so I know that I can no shield this which is good. Um, there's no reason for them to Bray Bird here. Um, they will obviously want to get this thing boosted because they know Avalog's on the back. So we're going to just um, throw a Night Slash here. And if we get boosted, we have a chance. We have a chance. Um, we know that we can maybe CMT tie them on the next one. Um, and no boost comes through, so we're kind of in shambles. I'm going to decide to um, let this thing go, I believe. Um, and then just go into Giratina because we know we still have Giratina left and that Registeel is low enough that it's not going to pose a threat to our Avalu. So, we go into Avalu actually. Oh my gosh, I'm a maniac. 
Oh, I fat fingered here, I think. This is where I fat fingered. Oh yeah, this is where I fat fingered on stream. I didn't mean to do this. I meant to go into the Giratina. And I accidentally went to Avalug. But I was like, okay, I can battle out of this. I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm like, switch clock's almost up. I just have to shield, and I'll be good. And I can farm this thing down. So I'm like, okay, shield, go into, go into, go into Giratina. I'll be okay. And then I'm like, no, I can farm this thing down before they get another one, can I? And I get it. I get the farm down. What's in the back that I can handle? Go straight into Giratina. What am I going to face? What am I going to see? I decide, you know what? Screw it. Let's farm down the Registeel. So we're loaded on energy. What in the back is going to beat this thing? It's Cresselia. I'm a little bit too low of health for this, but no fast move damage really coming through on the Avalug or the Giratina. I'm going to throw Crunch, and I'm going to go straight into Giratina. Now, Giratina got the defense drop here, guys. I'm going to go for the Shadow Sneak. It's going to be dealing super effective damage as well as these Shadow Claws. I'm going to be farming energy very quickly. Can I beat them to two Shadow Sneaks versus two Moon Blasts? Let's find out. That I think that's all we need after the debuff. Do we even need that? We need to shield this, guys. Moonblast is going to do super effective damage. It is going to KO. Grass Knot, even if it's a bait, we have to shield. There's no way to play around there. They do the bait. But guess what, guys? These Shadow Claws are adding up, and all we need is going to be a Dragon Claw, and they don't let us get the satisfaction, and they quit, giving us a GG, moving us to 3-1 and one in our set from last night. Getting into the final battle of our set, guys. It's going to be a big push for MMR gains here. Um... Once again, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for coming out. We're going to see how far we can get up on this MMR chain. But we got another Talon Flame into Avalug lead, which is not my favorite. We're going two. Oh, they only get two. Okay, not the third one, which is good. So, guys, I learned something new today. Uh, ideally, you want to throw Dragon Claws, even against Ice types. Um, I... I think... I don't know why. I, I don't know. I think it's just more energy efficient, I believe. Um... The Shadow Sneaks are only going to be used against Fairies and Steel Types. Um, that's what my coach told me. Uh, like I said, I'm new to typings, you know what I mean? I, I played the games when I was a kid, but I used to just pick the coolest Pokemon and use them until the Elite Four. And I would run Beedrill into the Elite Four, man, and I would tear it up. Um, but, um, so I probably could have done better in this match if I would have used my energy a little bit more properly. Uh, but even then, I still don't get the three Dragon Claws. There's just no way. Um, but this sets me up with a good farm. Um, and I can possibly farm this thing the entire way down, get loaded up for this talent flame in the back, and hopefully have a chance at winning. So ideally, we need to no shield here and save our shields for the talent flame. Uh, talent flame is going to be revved up on energy. It has two at least. Um, so we're going to farm down here and be pretty loaded. I think I want to go up to Brave Bird here so I can possibly draw draw a shield from this talent flame. Um, their incinerate comes in. This is going to be the Brave Bird incinerate. So, third one comes through. See if we can get a shield. We get a shield, which is nice. And I think, okay, I'm kind of in shambles. I think I need to shield this. But I'm like, okay, maybe if I just go to Avalug, I can possibly get the two body slams or farm this thing down. But these incinerates are just adding up way too much damage, guys. And I'm not a big top left guy. I'm really not. I'm not a big top left guy. But this is one where I was thinking, okay. I'm kind of in shambles. They kind of walled me. They answered everything that I had. And I'm like, all right, how much are these? How much is this doing right now? But they switch into Trevenant. And I'm like, okay, if I get a bait off, maybe I can win this. Maybe I can win this. I'm like, all right. I don't shield here because I know it's Seed Bomb. But also, how much is it going to do? It's going to put me so low. So I'm like, all right, can I bait this thing and maybe win? I'm like, dude, I'm taking so much damage. Um, if I bait shield farm down maybe have two body slams is there a chance that i can win this game um but the shadow claws are just doing too much damage and they don't shield so um it's gonna be a gg guys um i thank you so much for watching the youtube video um let's see how much our mmr went up running this team hopefully i have it up here pretty soon um but if you guys want to see where i'm at on twitch guys we went up a good what 15 in that set not bad, guys. If you go up 15 ELO every day from your starting ELO, you will get to Legend. I promise you. Go up 20. If you go up 30, you're definitely getting to Legend. If you go up 50, you're getting to Legend in, like, a couple weeks. So, guys, I thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please come out and hang out on Twitch. Um, it's my favorite place to be. Uh, YouTube's awesome, but Twitch is even better. Uh, Hurdles TTP on Twitch. Jake does Hurdles on Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out, Hurdle Fam.